I want to talk to you about the perfect peep sight placement. So your peep sight is the rear sight of your bow and peep alignment with your front sight is absolutely critical. However, that peep placement actually is important for two reasons specifically. One, the position of that is going to dictate the position of your head and how you have to adjust your head to be able to see through that peep. Now, the other thing that's critical is depending on the peep height, it will then determine the position for highs and lows of your anchor position. So the lower that peep would be in your string when you're at full draw, the higher your release hand would have to be in order to look through that peep. Whereas if your peep is higher in the string, you're gonna have to anchor much lower in order to see through the peep. Now what that affects is arrow placement on the face, which from an accuracy point of view is a definite killer, especially at longer range or with variation of head position. So if our peep is very high, or I'm sorry, if our peep is very low and our anchor position is high, we've kind of got this arrow in a weird place on the face. But more importantly, when that peep's really low, we're gonna struggle to ever get much distance out of our bow because our sight is gonna also have to be much lower to the arrow. And eventually your sight is gonna come in contact with your arrow and you're not gonna be able to get much distance. Now, if your peep sight is too high on the string, then what's gonna have to happen is you're gonna have to be anchoring much lower, depending on if you have a handheld or a wrist strap and you're putting your thumb behind your neck, well, once you're anchoring low like that, now this arrow shaft is starting to contact your chin. So as your arrow is sitting here on your arrow rest, any variation you have in your face will immediately cause pressure on that arrow thus causing an impact variation downrange. So what I like to teach people is to have an anchor position and a head position that allows their arrow to be in what I refer to as the safe zone of the face, which is between your lip and your chin. There's a little concave cradle right there that has less facial hair or if you have a compression face mask, it's gonna be a little bit tighter to your face. And it gives you the ability to have some variation in your head position to center your peep without contacting the back portion of the arrow. And that's really important because with a compound bow, when you're at full draw, as you can tell, it's kind of easy to hold it back there. And that's because the tension is being let off. And when that happens, your string and your arrow has the maximum ability to be manipulated, and you don't want that. The other thing that's critical is just teaching proper form that impacts peep position. So you really want your form and your technique to be perfect first, and then have a position of the peep that matches your perfect technique. Now I learned something from a coach long ago because when speed bows first started to come into the market, with those speed bows came short brace heights, shorter axles to axles, and also very sharp string angles where you had to bring your head very far forward in order to get your, your nose to the string. And so I figured out pretty quick that when you have that very aggressive string angle, my accuracy was less and a coach pointed out it's also because my head had to change so much to be able to properly look through that peep sight with such a string angle. So what you want to do for perfect archery technique is you want to be able to stand up with proper posture and Perfect archery form is really just a T formation, raising your arms up to your sides, 
bending your release hand towards your center line, and for a handheld release shooter, inverting the hand. And in this position, I have perfect archery technique. But what's critical about that is when I do this, then I'm just gonna turn my head towards the target so that I can invert this hand and be in perfect technique. I don't wanna take my head forward and I also don't wanna have to lay my head back as well. Now, one of the things that you'll find with good shooters and proper technique is that their head position won't change during the draw cycle. For a lot of people that are pulling too much weight, they bring their head forward as they pull that bow back, and then they have to settle back into that shot and try to find their peep. An exercise that I was taught was to simply imagine that there's a string from the ball of my hat up to the ceiling above me and that my head could pivot or turn on that string all that it wanted to. However, it couldn't go forward or back from the string. The coach that I had actually just grabbed a bunch of my hairs and told me if I wanted to go forward to the bow when I pulled, that's fine. I would just lose my hair and I did. But Imagining the string was actually something that was a little bit more comfortable. So think of your peep height like this. Stand proud, have a T formation, turn your head towards the target, and find your anchor position. And when your head is in that place, then you would have your peep put in the string to match that. Now, if you have a brand new bow, something that's easy to do is to maintain that posture and have someone from the shop or a friend put their finger next to the string. Follow your string up or down so that that rear sight would perfectly match where that front sight was. So just to show you here on my bow, I have this peep sight in a position to where when I draw my bow back and it stops, if I look towards the target and I find my anchor position, my nose is merely millimeters from already being on that string. So I'm looking directly at you, turning my head towards the target, finding my anchor position, and my rear sight is perfectly aligned with the front sight. And from there, I'm just barely adjusting my head so that I'm able to have my reference points that I talk about in several coaching segments, which is anchor, feeling the serving on the corner of the mouth, string is at the tip of the nose without head manipulation, and that peep sight is center. Now, one of the tips that I'll give you is that once you have a bow that fits you perfectly and you work on your technique and you know that your head is in the correct position and your anchor feels great and the arrow position is perfect on the face, then the measurement that is good to know is when you are at full draw to measure from the peep down to the center of the arrow shaft because that triangle and that height will always match the measurement of your face from where your arrow should sit to the corner or the center of your pupil. So for me, that number is three and seven eighths when at full draw. Now what's important about that number is that depending on your string angle, your peep may be in a different position when the bow's at rest. So like this particular bow, when it's at rest, my peep is actually at six inches from the top of my knock to the center of my peep with the technique that I teach. Now, if I shot a much longer axle to axle bow to where my string angle was much broader instead of being like this, it was more like this, 
this peep could actually sit lower in the string at rest because at full draw, the measurement is still three and seven eighths for me. Now, if I shoot a much shorter bow, if I went to a 30 inch axle to axle bow, my peep would need to sit higher in my string while it's at rest because as that string angle sharpen, the peep from center of peep to center of arrow shaft would still be that measurement that fits my exact face. So follow those simple guidelines, find the measurement that works for you and keeps your head in perfect posture, allow it to pivot, but don't let it come back behind your center line and don't let it go forward and you're gonna have peep perfection.